Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in our laboratory. And today we are back with our cheetah. We are back with our cheetah because, oh my gosh, did you guys ever have so many amazing ideas of what we could crossbreed with a cheetah? So keep those comments coming, my friends, because there are so many different species out there that we could try to uh, crossbreed here in our lab. Species that you would never really expect or never could expect actually to see crossbreeds of in real life but species that make really fun experiments here so feel free like toss the ideas out there a cheetah and a possum a cheetah and a raccoon i don't think we can do the raccoon but we could do let's see maybe not even the possum i guess those are both cats okay so those ideas don't work but you guys get the basic idea maybe a cheetah and a wild boar maybe we could do a cheetah and a wolf as many of you guys do request or even cheetah and some dog species so if you have some favorite breeds of dog do let me know and we might just cover them in these absolutely delightful cheetah spots in the future but all right guys so today we are going to be breeding a cheetah and the highly requested African wild dog look at this beauty oh my gosh I absolutely adore this Oh, I'm so in love. African wild dogs are one of my favorite animals. A lot of you guys are very familiar with them. They are such a unique species. Extremely social native, imagine that, to Africa. And they are kind of like wolves in the way that they do hunt in packs, but their pack structure, their social behaviors, and everything else are completely different from wolves. They're really, really a great species to talk about if we're thinking about like animals who have excellent hunting strategies. African wild dogs have really complex hunting mm, kind of in it, strategies for how they hunt in groups. Sort of again like wolves, but trust me, if you ever sit down on YouTube and you look up African wild dogs hunting and you look at the aerial footage and then you compare that to how wolves hunt, it's very different. They're hunting in completely different environments with completely different prey items. They have different pressures of predators around them because whereas the wolves are the big apex predator of their territory, the African wild dogs share their space with lions and with leopards and hyena. So like they're in cheetah, they're not the only ones on the savanna. And that kind of impacts how they move around, what they hunt, how they spend time scavenging from the other big predators. I love them. Uh, we'll talk more about their very unique voices, how they kind of have a yipping sound and the way that they regurgitate food for anybody who needs it in the wild dog pack and so many of their other things later. But today we have Alstar. So Alistar, the wild dog. Thank you very much, Alistar, for your kind comment in our previous video. And we have Daisy the cheetah. And though these two could never crossbreed in real life, we're going to see what their puppies look like. Well, kits, their puppy kits look like here in the lab. And then one more quick note about a fun fact I learned about the wild dogs today. They cannot breed with dogs. So I thought maybe the wild dogs like wolves would be able to crossbreed and have puppies with domesticated dogs, but that is not the case. So you cannot actually crossbreed a domestic dog and a wild dog. They're just too different genetically. That's really cool because you can crossbreed wolves and wild, like domestic dogs and you can crossbreed wolves and coyotes. So I was really surprised when I learned that wolves and coyotes are closer related to your domestic dogs than wild dogs are. So don't be fooled by the name. Okay, but enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and think about how these two would meet. Perhaps the very solitary cheetah, uh, Daisy, since cheetah are a more solitary species, isn't quite as solitary as she wishes that, uh, you know, she could be. There's a part of her that is always a little bit lonely and really wants to meet with a, another one of her kind, or at this point, of any kind. And then we have Alistar, who I, I could only imagine that uh, Ali here, as we'll call him, I think that he's actually a little too aggressive. Maybe he picked the wrong fight, nipped the wrong ear, but he got himself kicked out of the pack and he likes to think that he can more or less go on life on his own. However, that's kind of a hard thing to do. 
So, uh, as he's strolling about, feeling super confident, but not quite confident enough to, you know, do something ridiculous like take on a hyena group or maybe face down a lion, he ends up meeting the shy and unusually social Daisy. Their eyes meet, as often happens here in the random pet laboratory, and before you know it, they have formed their own little pack. So let's go ahead and see what their little ones are going to look like. And I'm so excited because I think we're actually going to end up with puppies that look either like cheetah or they look like wild dogs. But I've said that in the past and we ended up looking like getting completely different things. So, all right, you two, with your new pack between our social cheetah and our very uh, kind of like somewhat aggressive and extremely proud all star. In fact, is proud stubborn proud would be in our sims 3 series so not in sims 4 but i do think he's very proud let's go ahead after months of running along side by side chasing down the antelope and the scrub hairs these two have their first litter oh that would be so cute with the purple eyes but that's not the one we're looking for all right guys oh of course demon eyes because we have Magic Realm coming out soon, I am actually going to be leaving in the demon eyes. I need it for my griffins and my hippogriffs, thank you very much, and my bat cats, uh, which you guys will be seeing soon. But they had a son, so welcome to little Yaya. So little Yaya has come to join our little hyena and wild dog pack, and he's gonna be probably really fast, just like his mother. So he's actually got the cheetah markings, good for hiding in the underbrush. He's also extremely jumpy, which sounds on point for a cheetah. He's stubborn. And he is a hunter, so very good wildlife. Being jumpy actually will really help him in a place where lions and larger predators lurk. I guess there's also crocodiles. You even have to be careful when you're getting a drink of water around here. All right, let's go ahead and get a sibling for you. <gasps> a literally identical sibling. Maybe there's just something kind of demonic about mixing a cheetah and a wild dog. But all right, so now we have Mythical. So Mythical, thank you so much. And actually Mythical's full name is Mythical Kitty Dog as a username. And it actually is a kitty dog. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Mythical Kitty Dog. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Mythical Kitty or Mythical, we'll say. In fact, we'll go with Mythical Kitty at least. Welcome, welcome. I am very amused that Mythical Kitty Dog, you have actually ended up being a kitty dog. Let's go ahead and see what your personality is. Let's see, can't produce milk, so we'll roll again. You are loyal, friendly, and hairy, which sounds adorable. So that's more, you know, taking after your father's side of things. All right, we'll go ahead and randomize again. Oh, beautiful, I wish I could keep this one with those gorgeous golden eyes, wow. Okay, <gasps> oh, one gold eye and one like demonic red eye. I don't know what it is about that, but this is going to be a little creeper. So welcome to little creeper from creeper girl. Thank you very much creeper girl. We're going to go ahead and uh, see what your cheetah, so far it's all cheetah, what your little cheetah is going to be. An aggressive vocal sleuth. So it sounds like you take more after the uh, wild dog side of things there. So, so far, all cheetah little kits. All right, let's get the next name. Oh yes, and if you guys would like to end up becoming one of the adorable little ones born in our random laboratory, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment. It is literally that easy. And then you can come and like have the random generator maybe pick you and end up being who knows what in our lab. All right, next one. Oh, beautiful golden eyes, cute ears. Okay, you know what? Maybe I am gonna remove those demon eyes because it is getting a little bit, a little bit interesting <laughs> to see like demon eyed, like actually it's an entire litter of demon, little demon cheetah cubs, huh? The, the silence was me kind of reflecting on what I have done with my life. But Tamara, welcome to our little group. Uh, you're in good company for looking like a cheetah and having red eyes. You also are friendly and a troublemaker and adventurous. So it sounds like you're going to cause trouble, but at least you're going to be friendly about it. All right, let's get the next name. And here we go. Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, that's it. This is just broken. That is all I have to say about this. The demon eyes, this may be the last day for you, demon eyes, but look at those ears. I think it's safe to say somebody finally inherited the adorable ears that the African wild dogs have. That is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I gotta get pictures of those big old things. You look like your part scrub hair, little one. All right, Royal, welcome to the family. You cannot produce wool, my dear. So I'm gonna roll again. A jumpy, loyal, playful cheetah wolf dog. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is kind of hilarious. Um, this is kind of hilarious. Let's go ahead and have the last one. I think it's literally going to be all cheetah. Daisy? All star? <gasps> Just as I said that! Oh my gosh! One purple eye, one brown eye. Oh, maybe it was just there's something about the cheetah jeans. A recessive demon eye in the cheetah jeans. Welcome to Hybrid, which is a really cool name for a little hybrid creature from Hybrid Leopard. So Hybrid Leopard, thank you so much for your sweet comment. I'm glad you enjoyed our lion and poodle crossbreed. To be honest, I'm kind of tempted to do a lot more poodle crossbreeds because they had some very unexpected colorations hiding in those jeans. And I think it's hilarious that you actually ended up as a cheetah crossbreed. <laughs> We really need to do some leopards. So what do you guys think we should crossbreed with a leopard? Because that would be really fun. Another round of lovely spots to see. But let's see what hybrids traits are. You can't produce milk hybrid. Hybrid is independent, a glutton, and a hunter. And look at this. Oh, so cool. We've got to do more crossbreeds with our African wild dogs. Maybe with a normal dog species. Which normal dog species do you guys think we should pick? Because this is beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So, after watching over their five little demon cheetah cubs. Oh, look at that. There's not too much variation between them, except un until you get to the ears on royal. And the colors, of course, on hybrid. These two with All-Star watching over his pack with pride. And Daisy, so pleased to be able to have a, a group of her own to be with so she is no longer alone. The little ones have grown, they have survived the very fraught time of their adolescence, and now they shall become adults. <gasps> oh my gosh, Yaya! You look totally different than what I thought you were going to. A fluffy cheetah tail, much stockier body, stocky little head. I'm actually really impressed. These are gonna be cheetah who are going to make people think twice, but all right, you definitely probably have the hunting capabilities of your dad. Let's see what your more or less identical sister, Mythical Kitty, is going to look like. Pretty much the same. So Mythical Kitty also looks pretty the same. I think that as they age, like when they were little itty bitty kits, I'm sure Daisy as a cheetah was quite proud they looked like her. But now as they age and clearly are taking on some of the intelligence and the movement that you would expect from a wild dog, I'm sure their wild dog father is pretty proud. But look at that. Oh my goodness. Very fluffy cheetah tails. I didn't know I wanted fluffy cheetah tails in my life until now, but I did. All right, let's keep going. Creeper. Oh, Creeper! How is that so cute? Look at the ears. I had no idea I loved cheetah ears that way. I just kind of want to reach up and like play with them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Nice. And we have another, not so fluffy tail, but a pretty big tail for a cheetah. And actually a really cool fur pattern. Wow, okay, I like Creeper too. This is adorable. Kind of reminds me of a hyena with those ears. All right, Tamara. Ooh, Tamara, you are ready to go hunting. Thinner tail. I think Tamara is probably going to be a lot faster, but she has the same sort of build that you would expect from an African wild dog. So probably has that jaw structure instead. And then Royal. Here we go, guys. Now we have got those little ears. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, we need to do more African wild dog crossbreeds, you guys. This is awesome. I think those ears are actually, nope, they're the same size as dad's. There you go. That's what it looks like if you, you have a cheetah who ends up having ears the size of an African wild dog. That's amazing. But all right, let's go ahead and finish up with hybrid, the last of this litter. Oh! <gasps> 
Whoa! Oh my gosh! Hybrid! Fluffy tail! Cool body! Thinner build! I, thinner build! I actually think this is more of a cheetah's build and more of a cheetah draw structure. I actually really like that! Wow, and that purple eye that just showed up out of the genetic blue. So, Allstar, what do you think? Wow, I, I think that we're gonna have... I, I'm kind of curious now. Do you guys happen to know, by chance, offhand or off Google, the difference between the way that the bite jaw structure works on cheetah and on wild dogs? Do wild dogs nip a little bit more because they hunt in a pack so you can kind of take down your prey uh, like with a bunch of small little bites whereas a cheetah needs that big pounce, that speed and that one like hard bite to get their kill? I'm curious now because I feel like a hybrid cheetah here might have some of the um, that powerful cheetah jaw but it, what's stronger a cheetah jaw or an African wild dog jaw? These are the kinds of curious questions that emerge from our random pets laboratory. But alright guys, the highly requested mix between cheetahs and wild dogs has now been done, so let me know. This was fun, I love breeding cheetah and I love the, our first taste of wild dog genetics, so what more should we do? If you'd like to join us for that and many thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye